Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to do a quick demo to show you the integration between Smartsheet and DocuSign, showing you how quick and easy it is to send out documents for signature using the DocuSign integration and to have it all recorded and mapped within Smartsheet, enabling you to go back and refer to the signed documents anytime within your Smartsheet files. So let's have a look. In this case, I have got two members who I want to sign NDA on a particular project, Project Zephyr. You can see in this case that I've got a signature status of completed uh, by Catalina Roncal, and there's an attachment here. So let's just have a quick look and see what this looks like. So click on the attachment. It's going to take me in, and you can see what I've previously set up is the NDA and the data, which is the, from the fields in the Smartsheet. The name and address are in there, and because this is a signed document, it's got this information here. So it's signed by Catalina and signed by Rich Coles. And so if we then just go back to the actual sheet, that's the information there. And because it's completed, I've got a workflow set up which locks it once it's completed. So if I want to send out new ones to Tim or to Fred, again, it is very easy. And so in this case, I'm just going to click on Tim, this instance, and I'm going to right click and I'm going down to the section here which says Generate Documents. So I've already got one set up and this will come up. So it's already remembered what was previously set up. So I can just click on that and run through it. But in this case, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to set up a new one. So if I click Create in this instance, it's asking me, do I want to just do a PDF mapping or do I want to use the DocuSign integration? In this case, I'm going to do the DocuSign. So it gives me the list of items that we need to work through. So logging me into DocuSign, which I already am, and then going across and it's saying what templates have I previously got set up to look at. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to show you the, the DocuSign side of things, but rather just the Smartsheet side. So here, this is the document which I've got set up, the NDA individual. I'm going to click Next, and then it's saying what roles. So this is where, again, it's looking at what information in Smartsheet needs to map across for the DocuSign bit. So what's the name of the person receiving it? And uh, what is their email address? So linking those across, and then who's signing it for Productive, putting that in. As it's a contact column, it already knows it's an email. So I'm going to click Next. And in this case, do I want to track the status of that piece? I do. So I'm going to put call this status two because I already have that column set up. So I'm just doing this purely for demo purposes, and you'll see what happens with this. So I don't want columns to sync in the process. In this case, you have the choice um, to have columns which sync. I'm going to skip over that one and let's review this bit. And again, you've got an option to review as you go. So if I click done, you'll see it's created a second one. Now I'm going to call this demo version. And in terms of the document name, this is the name of what will be held as the attachment. So I want to have the name of the person who signed it. So I'm going to drag that across from the Smartsheet columns on the side. And you can see the various areas turned green in the process, showing you what are the fields that are set up in DocuSign that you can map to. So again, if I do that, you'll see I'm going to drag across and drop onto name. And the address, again, one of the Smartsheet columns, I'm going to drag across and drop in to there. So those are all completed. What I now need to do is go to the end of the document. And here I've already got the signature set up on the basis of DocuSign, but what I want it to do is, again, add in the name of the receiving party, in this case. So that's added in, and I want the name of the signatory from Productive added in. So that's all set up. I can save, I can generate. So if I click Generate, this is now automatically going to send out the document. So if I click Send with DocuSign, that's now generating the document. And in the background, it has now sent that document as well. So let's go back to the main sheet. So I'm going to save the changes in this case. And what you can do is you can see that the new column in terms of the status has already been added in and it's telling me it is sent. And again, it's got a hyperlink here, which takes you to, so if I click on that, that will take me through and show me the status of the signatories as well. So. Tim will have received in his email that request. If we just go across to C and in the team side, so 
a check to see if Tim has received that email in his email box. And assuming it's come through, we can then just have a quick look at what that looks like. So he's just received the email. So I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to go in and launch that on behalf of Tim. So this now takes into Tim's DocuSign request. And again, the request for signature, this is standard within DocuSign. So that's what he's received. And you can see it's put his name, he's put his address as requested. And then as he scrolls to the bottom, all he needs to do is sign it, having clearly read the document. He, he signs it and then adopt and sign. That is now done. And he clicks finish. That document will now go through on that side. And again, it's marked. So it will be now showing as sent because it's still pending the final signature um, on the side of Productive um, in that side. So again, hoping that the email comes through quickly and I can do it in this demo. So just refreshing my email to see how quickly it takes for the DocuSign email to come through. And it has just come through as well. So if I go and copy that link, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop in that link here. And again, this is the one which was sent to Tim. And there's the information. Scroll to the bottom. You can see that Tim has signed it. And now it's for me to sign. And it's now added in my name at the bottom and the date. So if I click sign, click finish. And that is all done. So no thanks. So let's go back to the sheet here. And fairly shortly, that should then update the status and tell us that it is completed. So it's not quite done as yet, but hopefully shortly it will mark as complete. Again, just waiting for that integration to come through. That will update very shortly. And again, one last try, still not come through, but you will see from this previous example, that's what happens as soon as it's completed. There we go. Stalling for time. It is now marked as completed. And so on that basis now, if I had the conditional formatting in place, so let's just say that is in place. You can see that has now marked it as completed and there's a couple of workflows will work in the background as well on the basis that this date signed and the lock column should work as well. So let me just refresh. And you can see it has populated that with a workflow I've got set up and it's locked that column again. In this case, I've copied it across. I wouldn't normally have those two pieces there. What you can see is I've just hit the DocuSign bit and it's showing you the various situation on that side. So going back to the document, here we can see the attachment. That's the one which we've signed, all signed and sealed, and it's done. So next time around, when it comes to doing for Fred, it's exactly the same process. You can literally just go generate documents. It's all set up. And I'm going to do the individual demo. And in this case, I'm just going to click generate. And I'm going to send with DocuSign. And that's done. And that is now sent off to Fred. And it's as simple as that. Once set up, you literally click on, choose the mapping that you want to go back to, and the document will be sent. And you can see in this case, it's already sent through to Fred waiting for a signature. So trust that's been useful in terms of showing you the integration between DocuSign and Smartsheet, which is a fantastic development and can really help you keep all your documents in one place and have the, all the signed documents at your fingertips, not just within DocuSign, but also where else you might need them. Thank you for watching. Trust has been useful. My name is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. If you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe and let me know what other topics you'd like to see. Many thanks.